Hello guys, it's Kieran or Killikers at HD here and welcome back to another video. This is the Cherries Rise episode 16 and today we face Fulham in the Premier League. Um, in the last games, uh, in the last game we did on a live call, we won 3-2 at home to Sunderland and since then we've had um, probably our best run of this season so far. First game we travelled away to our rivals in this league, uh, Southampton, and we won 3-1 in a fucking amazing game for us. We uh, performed well above expectations here. Joel Campbell and Darwin, Darwin Marcus performing for us. You know, Morgan Schneiderlin got a goal on 85th minute, but did nothing for him. We performed fantastically, and Dar Darwin Marcus is doing fantastically for us. He's becoming a quick, he's really quickly becoming a fan favourite at this club for his performances. He's got a uh, 10 goals in 11 games in all competitions. He's performing fantastically for us, and I'm looking forward to seeing how he performs late in the next few games. So in the next game, we were at home to Reading, and I'm not sure how to describe this game to you, really. Um, <laughs> Cornelius scored in the 35th minute to put uh, Reading ahead, and then Joshua King scored in two minutes to make it 1-1. The Daniel Williams got sent off for a second book of offence of Reading, and, you know, they're down to 10 men, we should be able to perform much better. Mackis scored again, and then, you know, Josh King got injured. Even though we we were able to sub him on, we brought on Richie. Something changed when King went off, and Cornelius, I can't speak English, it's quite early, um, gave Reading the point, so it's quite irritating. And in the next game, we were away to Doncaster Rovers in the FA Cup when we won 4-2. Um, we did perform as good as we should have, really, against the lower league side. Mackis getting a brace, J. Emmanuel Thomas and Rat Ritchie. We got Paul Keegan and Coppinger getting the goals for Doncaster. Um, I didn't really recognise any names over here, apart from uh, Danny Gessin and Frank Noble. Um, I did play a slightly weaker side, I guess you could say. I brought on Richie, I brought on Mackay Steven, Emmanuel Thomas, and players like that, and we, st we still won, but it was a risky performance. In the next game, we were away to Bour um, Burnley, sorry, not Bournemouth, we are Bournemouth, what am I talking about? We played fantastically, uh, Daddy Ali's on their, f on, on their team now, from loan from Tottenham, uh, Calibre scored a penalty on the 17th minute, and Daddy Ali got one back to make it 1-1, but Joel Campbell is performing fantastically as well, as well as he's been our man of the season so far, he got um, a brace in 37 54th minute to give us the 3-0 win. In the next game, we were at home to Stoke, and we lost 1-0 to Stoke, and this is the only loss of the session that we had, uh, Marco and Adovic scored on the 56th minute to give them the win. Um... Stoke aren't that good to be honest with you. I'm not sure they're that great on this in the league at the moment. To be quite honest with you, I'm pretty sure they are doing a bit of shit, or they were doing a bit of shit before they beat us. And in the final game, the big result of the whole of the session, we beat Manchester City 2-0 away from home at the Etihad in a fucking belter for us. A fucking belter. I will say it one more time. One more time. Ready? Ready? Fucking belter. Macus, man of the match. I don't know how he didn't get man of the match, but he was a man of the moment. Brace against Man City in the first half. Steve Cook, though, his defensive work is above fucking part. He, do you know what? If he doesn't get in team of the season, I'm going to be pissed. Because this guy is performing fucking wicked. He is doing some fucking work for us right now, and I don't know how we managed to win this game. Oh, mm -hmm, I forgot. We have a transfer to take, talk about. I brought in Luis Alberto on a uh, loan from Liverpool as an attacking midfielder option because Caleb is not that great. And do you know what? He's going to do well for us, I can tell already. I completely forgot I even brought him in for a second. I was like, wait, what, what's going on here? <laughs> um, in terms of outs for us, we've got Mark Pugh going out on loan to Doncaster with a future fee, I believe, of 24,000 coins. Uh, 24,000 coins. <laughs> FIFA talk right there. 24,000... Um, £24,000. I can't speak English. Uh, there's £57,000, sorry. What am I talking about? Elliot Ward's gone now. He's gone to Sheffield United. Um, Brett Pittman's gone to Peterborough for a month. And Branko van der Boomen. He was getting first team football here, but I think it would be better if he goes somewhere else. Because um, we've got some players now that can play the games. And um, he's gone to um, GA Eagles, in uh, the Go Ahead Eagles, in the Eredivisie. And that'll get him game time, I guess. Um, in terms of finances, we're actually um, well a bit above of our wage budget, so it looks like the finances could be an issue. And uh, of course, with uh, the stadium being built and for some reason them expanding the stadium, we obviously uh, 
could be in a bit of trouble. But apart from that, we should be all right, really. Um, TV money will come in at the end of the season. Uh, FA Cup money, stuff like that. We should be all right, but you no, know, it's a bit of a worry. Ryan Fraser, by the way. God, he's performing fantastically over in Scotland for Partick Thistle. He's performing fantastically. Look at that, 20 appearances, 11 goals, 2 assists and 3 plenty of matches. We're not in the league. And they are third in the league. And, they, you know, they've got three of our players, I think, or four. I can't remember who they've got on our team now. They've got Adam Smith, Bakayogo, Ewan O'Kane and Fraser. And I've got to say, they're whacking in at the moment. They're doing really well. But let's get into our game against Fulham. Actually, before we do that, let's have a look at the league table, actually. Chelsea and Man United once again battling for the top two, top position. English. Uh, Man City, Liverpool, Newcastle, Tottenham, Arsenal, all fighting for those uh, spots in Europe. Europe. We're currently 11th. Uh, Fulham, Sunderland and Burnley look to be going down right now. But I'm going to be honest, Fulham, I can't see them going down to be honest. They've picked up some good wins there and there. Burnley as well though. I don't know. Um, before anything else, I want to point out something. We hit top 10 for the first time this season after our win against Burnley. We finally hit top 10. Uh, we went to 9th and it's actually a big step for us because we have a... F this, is, this is huge. Because our target was is to finish top at the top... Mid I think it's mid-table, the top table, I can't remember. So we needed a big old uh, boost in game wins. And that Man City game was going to be a massive three points for us. But... We'll see how that performs. We're going to bring on Pacheco for steel in this game, actually. We're also going to take on... Is Luis Alberto all right? He's, no, he's knackered. I can't really take him. Um, anybody else? Uh, Kieran Clark. I'm going to play Kieran Clark instead of Danny Bath. It's risky because uh, Bath's been playing really well for us lately. But with him complaining and being bitchy about games, I can't afford to... Um, listen to it because I can't be asked. <laughs> we're going to put Marcus in the centre second midfield while we're going to play Bamford and we're also going to keep Wilson on the bench for this game. Let's see how that does. Marcus doesn't... I actually haven't played Marcus in the centre second midfield while I've always been playing him as a striker. A bit risky in it really. He's on 7.31. His average rating is mad at the moment. Let's get into the game though. See who Fulham are racking up with. They reckon well, we're favourites. We're going to continue our impressive form and pick up a three point. And we can move up to 10th if we beat Fulham today and other results go our way. Andy Sermon, 100th appearance in the club. Nice. Love it. Oh, fuck. Yes, Metrogli's out. That's amazing. Right, they have got Ross McCormack, Francis Cocker on the left midfield, Sully Montari, Scott Parker, Anthony Knockhart, Benjamin Stamboli, Kavanagh, Dan Byrne, Wes Morgan, Hoogland, and Stecklenburg in goal. They've also got Radak, Diston, Hindman, Smith, David, Bodorov, and Brian Ruiz on the bench. I really want to look out for Coquelin. I, I mean, the update, he's not that good, but you know, in real life, he had a fantastic second half of the season for Arsenal. He was uh, perhaps our most improved player, depending on Be Bellerin, to be honest with you. But let's get into this game. Uh, we are favourites here. Go pick up a performance, please. Let's have faith in you. Go out there and make a difference. For all of you, just go and do what you've been doing and, you know, beat fucking teams like Man City. I can't, I, do you know what, when we won that game 2-0, I literally fist pumped the air, couldn't believe it, that was a bit, our biggest win by far, as Marcus gets the ball, down to Joel Campbell, puts it out to Francis, Vincent Payet, or Payot, sorry, Sermon, Marcus, Patty Bamford, and that is offside, it doesn't matter, <laughs> I saw the assistant manager straight away, I've been looking, I know man, I've been trolled a lot of times, uh, apparently our crossing's not working, Look at that, 25 minutes gone. 30 minutes, no shots. I thought, you know what, we'll fucking, uh, we'll listen to him for now because look at that, 30. Our possession's good, but no shots at all, it's bad. There's Payet, Joel Campbell, Patty Banford, and it's another wasted opportunity. That's our first shot of the game, though. We've had two now Pacheco, and to Gary Mackay Steven, and his first cook, Timmy Colo, Sermon. Mackay Steven, that's to Mackis. Mash it, go on, Mackis. Vincent Payot. That's to Kieran Clark. That was a poor ball. Kavanaugh's picked that up easily. That's Francis Cockland now. Sully Montari to Ross McCormack. He's the main man. Ross McCormack. Mackay Steven. you got to look for a ball here, mate. Oh, he's fucking. He's doing it. Look at this. Ross oh! God, shoot! Oh, Campbell. Oh. <laughs> Uh, alright then, half time, nil nil. Uh, 
All we need is one goal. Keep going out there. You can still win this game. Uh, you Go on. We'll tell him this to see if it gets... It's getting the greens. It's getting the greens. Um, Patrick Bamford and Mackay Steven. Also Sermon looking a bit worse for wear. Going into a second half. Might have to take them off sooner or later. But, you know, the two substitution things. A bit of a worry. Timmy Colo. Big ball out to Mac Really? You're going to cut the highlight there? I was in the middle of a hype. Campbell to Sermon. Mackis. Tackle by Hoogland. Anthony Knockhart on the break now. Ross McCormack. Tackle by Timmy Colo. Oh, McCormack gets it back. Good tackle, Cook. Knockhart. Stambouli. Silly Great tackle. Now we're on the break. Mackis. Campbell. Oh, he gets tackled and he's far as Sean Kavanagh. Dan Burns. Stecklenburg. Big ball out to McCormack. He's got one option in number 19 there. He's going to piss about. Why would you shoot like that? That is a waste. Ain't you supposed to be a good striker there, McCormack? What are you fucking doing, pal? Uh, we're going to make a change now. We're going to take off Patrick Bramford for Callum Wilson. No, we're not. We're going to bring on Mackis onto the striker role. We're going to bring on Caliber. We're also going to take off Mackay Steven and bring on Richie. Switch him up with Campbell. Put Campbell on the left and wrap Richie on the right. And we're going to leave it for now. Because Sermon's, you know, a bit knackered. But we're not going to make all three changes in the 61st minute. That's a fucking ridiculous idea. Oh, we're not gonna we're not gonna get anything from this. We need to go all that attacking from now. And we're gonna put it on uh, Grey Route One <sighs> much higher tempo. And we're gonna also gonna take off Sermon for Harry Arter. And uh if it's gonna be a nil nil draw, I'm gonna be pissed. And I might have to I might record the next next game if it's a nil nil draw. I might. And it's the Arsenal game I think in the FA Cup. So it's an FA Cup game. Nope, nil nil draw. Wow, is all I can say. Uh, we're going to give him a cautious. That was simply not good enough. All greens, I love it. Well, we we're actually we're in mid table again. That's top ten. Lovely old job. Uh, I don't know, man. We could have we were dominating that possession. I can't believe. I think we should have won that game. But it's a Wednesday game, isn't it? Do you know what? I'm feeling uh bit generous I will see you in a minute because we are going to be going and doing the next game straight away I don't I'm not happy with that near no draw we are home to Arsenal in the FA Cup fifth round and uh, hopefully we can pick up a win so hope do you know what I'm gonna see you right there in just a second welcome back um that literally took two minutes to do but we are back and we are going to be facing Arsenal in the um, FA Cup fifth round um last three meetings against them loss loss and loss we have not got a good record against Arsenal, but they have been dropping really badly recently. They've not done well these past two seasons. They finished, I think, eighth last season and they're seventh now. They've sacked Wenger. Wenger went to Everton. Mikel's in now, former Olympiacos manager, I believe. Yeah, former Olympiacos manager. Um, transfer wise, I'm not sure who they've brought in. They've obviously we bought Sol Campbell. They've got rid of Gnabry on loan. Kieran Gibbs, Nacho Monreal, Paul Easter, and Jenko. But yeah, they've brought on players like Bakali on a fucking free. You lucky guys. And they've brought in some good players, I guess. I don't know why they're not performing as well as they should be. Uh, and they've got, still got Ozil. They've still got Alexis Sanchez. You know, they've got new players like Nagatomo in now. So they should be performing well, but I don't know why they're not. They've got a fantastic team, by the way. It's going to be a hard game. But I'm looking forward to it because we're going against my my team that I support. So I'm looking forward to the game, seeing how it does. Uh, we're not going to play Kieran Clark for the next game. We're going to keep him off this one. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna start Macus this time and not 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 play him, I guess. Not not not. <laughs> going to put Emmanuel Thomas on there. Uh, Callum Wilson can go off. I want to win this game, so I'm looking forward to seeing if we can win this game. We're going to go um, control. We're gonna. Retain possession this time instead of playing the old uh, direct game against Arsenal because they like to retain possession, so it's going to be a bit difficult. Do you know what? We're going to take off Steve Cook for Kieran Clark. He's a bit knackered. I'm going to be a bit worried about that. So let's do this. Let's, that's a risky move taking off Steve Cook, but he's a little knackered. They yeah, reckon Arsenal are going to win. They're even on. They're fucking even on. Christ. <clears throat> Who else is playing? Oh, we got the early kickoff, but I oh, look at Mackick's record there. It's four goals. If he gets a goal or two today, maybe win, you know, it could be thing. So who have they got then? They've got Olivier Giroud, Conor Bolognka, Ozil, Sanchez, Ramsey, Ross Barkley, Adnan, Koscielny, Savic and Debussy. Got Ospina in goal. They've got Chesney, Callum Chambers, the Oxalade, Chamberlain, 
former Arsenal player and Lucas Podolski, now a Galatasaray player. Sad day, he's one of my favourite players for Arsenal. Matt Saka Wilshire and big old Theo Walcott. He's now number 40. He's, why is he not number 14 anymore? Fucking ridiculous. Uh, no, we're not going to listen to you. We're not going to listen to... We might listen to you because I like your tactical knowledge. Uh, I need to sort this out. I need to get myself a fucking manager, assistant manager who can do this shit because I... I... Right, we'll just go with you and then we're going to close down Sanchez. We're going to tight mark Sanchez as well. We're going to close down these lot. Uh, no, not fucking never. You mad? Um, I'm also going to keep him there. We're going to tight mark Olivier Giroud and see how that goes because, God, we're the underdogs. We go Arsenal. Let's fucking get out of there. And do this. Let's see if we can beat Arsenal. Team that's been underperforming in the league this recently. Let's do it. Luis Alberto getting a start, by the way. Liverpool Loney. Looking forward to see how he performs. If it comes to a point where uh, Arsenal give us the sausage, we'll go and counter and see what happens. But Conor Polonka with a fucking hit and a half. Why is Sanchez not fucking chased that down, by the way? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, fucking hell. The possession there. Luis Alberto to Joel Campbell. Richie! Oh, that could have been 1 0. That was a big chance for fucking Bournemouth there. Huge. Richie whips it in. Only as far as Danny Bath. Poyot. Be careful, mate. You've got a player on you. Johansson. Poyot to Matt Richie. Luis Alberto. Marcus! Oh, 1 0. Get in. Yes! That is his fifth goal of the FA Cup. Now, I think. And he is on a fucking mental roll. Get in. Fist pump the air again right there. Fucking get in, my son. He is on a, he's a fucking star for this team. I have no idea. He is pushing Bamford out of the side by getting goals like that. Come on. Yes. We are fucking smashing it out of the park. Love it. Get in, my son. Look at possession. We're actually outdoing Arsenal possession. Mikel must have like fucking changed the tactics or something because we are out doing Arsenal and we are one nil up at half time. That is huge, huge. We're gonna give them a passionate, all fucking happy performance. Get it off! I don't want to get overexcited just in case they manage to sneak it. <clears throat> Excuse me, they brought on Podolski. That's a bit of a thing. He's probably gonna do what he always does: is uh, just run down the middle and take power shots. <laughs> No, I'm joking, Podolski. I love you. Um, let's take... No. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make a couple changes, alright? Going to take off Piot for Sermon. We're going to take off Joel Campbell for... Can Patty Manford play on the left? Not very well. He's better on the right. But then we've got no striker just in case something bad happens. Uh, what about you, Emmanuel? Tell me if you go on the left, you better on the right. You better on the left or the right? We'll put you on the left. See how you do. And we're gonna take off Kieran Clark. Oh, should we though? No, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna risk it. I can't fucking risk that. That's ridiculous. What am I doing? Our boat is a bit knackered as well. Have we got on high tempo or something because players are getting knackered quite easily. 75th minute, 76th. Kieran Clark exhausted. We're gonna take him off now. Uh, but so is Colo and so is Luis Alberto. We're gonna take off Alberto and bring on Calibre. For the final 10 minutes of this game, are we going to pick up a famous victory against Arsenal to progress our FA Cup dream more? We're going to take off Harry Arter for injuries because I can't risk it. But that's 10 men. We're going to put it on counter straight away because I can't f can't risk that for shit. Uh, Wilshire. Koscielny. Oh, God. I shouldn't have put it on counter, should I? <gasps> Wilshire's going to whip it in the mixer. Ali Adnan. Off the fucking post. Oh, my days. 91st. 92nd. Oh, what a win that is. The double live come of dreams right there. What a fucking victory. That ends. That ends the free loss streak against Arsenal. Arsenal were even to win that game. And we fucking... Yes! Get in. Oh, that's fucking... Yeah, and here comes the money. There we go. Right, who, right I didn't look at that. Who's, how's he out for? Eight days from there. Right, we're going to go and uh, get to the FA Cup draw because I want to see who we get. We're going to put the live come on for a little bit more, see who we get. Oh, I'm fucking so happy we won that game. I've never, it's taken me so long to beat Arsenal. 
like it's a big thing with me. I struggle to beat Tottenham because they're our ri- my my rivals, you know, because I support Arsenal, and I struggle to beat Arsenal because they're my team. So that is fucking massive for me to beat Arsenal. You know, on a live com of all things, by the way, it's a double live com. I wasn't even planning it, but that nil nil draw was not worthy of an upload. So it's good that we've uh, got this going. Ozil still has a new contract with Arsenal. There you go. Let's have a look at any more FA Cup results come through. No. Our oh, Eagles lost. That's the team that fucking uh, Van Boomen plays for. PSG smashing Monaco. Ebra there. Are we going to get to do our draw now then? Uh, fucking hell. I've got a lot of items to go through. Munchen Lions. Fucking 1860. Munchen. Love it. Big fan of them. <clears throat> Provides no shocks. What? Man City beating United. That's big. Let's have a look at the results. Uh, no, I want to look into the stages, please. And I want to go there. So, Man City beat Man United 2 1. Liverpool beat Blackburn 3 1. Hull beat Yeovil 1 0. We beat Arsenal 1 0. Everton beat Norwich 3 2. Crystal Palace beat Leicester 3 1. Newcastle beat Portsmouth 2 0. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, Swansea beat West Brom. <coughs> Come on, just give me the draw. I want to see who we get. Oh, please. I, I, I don't know who I want. There's some big teams in there, you know. If I wanted to pick anyone, I'd rather a home draw against Hull or Palace. I would not want an away draw against Liverpool, Everton or Manchester City, but... Let's do New York, Come on, let's get a home draw, please. But yes, home draw. Against... Matt, oh, we beat him away from home. I am fucking... Do you know what? I'm confident. I'm really confident about that because we beat him away from home. Oh, you got the Merseyside Derby in there for the FA Cup, and you got Swansea versus Hull. <clears throat> I am very, very confident. You know, their last. Man, I don't know. I mean, we've beaten them away from home. 2 0. But they beat us away from home 4 2. It's a dodgy little thing that is. Um, our next game is going to be the Norwich game at home because I mean we've done two games in an episode that's a thing for the Cherry Drives I don't think we've done that before I think we did it with the, the around the world save and then at Bournemouth so um, I hope you enjoyed the double live com well, the, the spontaneous double live com if you did leave a like if you didn't tell me why in the comments and I will see you very soon for the next episode of the Cherry Drives